is science for? Why do we learn science? Um, it's not reading comprehension. It's not how good do you memorize things. And it's surely not let's pretend like this is that and this is that. And it really is just food coloring, but like just to make my point and then just write in your books all the notes of like what kind of beaker did I use? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have a different experience in science? Maybe yours was a lot more exciting than mine. But here's the deal. What science is really for, it gives you an opportunity to say there are actually observable things in nature and in aspects of nature and things that are happening in my kitchen, things that are happening in my body. There are observable, measurable aspects to how the world works. Now, the sciences that get into unobservable, in the imagination, too big, too far, too small, that's not what we focus on when kids are learning in school. You focus on the tangible, observable realities and teach them the process, the skills to research, document, dictionaries, to be able to search out encyclopedias and resource books to be able to measure and observe and draw what they see and to be able to learn what they're for and how it's been used and the environment and the different details and what does that mean? Why does this plant that looks like a liver actually have a positive effect on your liver? Why are there these patterns in nature and what are they for? Why do the animals work the way they work? And it seems that they have these different government systems. Why do certain minerals have certain effects on our body? How does our body work? What are the different aspects and how do they interrelate to each other? So this is what science is for. The measurable observable part. Observable part. That's what we focus on for education of children. And why don't we just focus on a couple things here and there? We want to kind of touch on all the different disciplines of science so that you have a holistic foundation, not only of skills, but also the perspective that yes, chemicals affect organic matter. People have an effect on animals and plants and vice versa and we need them and there's a purpose behind the different layers of the geology and weather is created and can be measured and predicted and the flow of water has an important impact why does this matter there's so many stories I tell a story of a woman that was dialed into just one kind of science and she was moved up and moved up because she had skills, she was very intelligent. And later in life, she realized that her specialized focus had led her to work for an organization where she had designed a very efficient bomb for bridges. And it was used on pedestrians. And it was in that moment that the consequence was being celebrated, success to her, that she realized her life had been pigeonholed and focused on just one part of science and math and the end result was something she didn't want to deal with. Her integrity and morality didn't fit with where she was spending her time and energy so she had to rebuild her life focus. And there's other stories of you know, adults that are just now realizing <laughs> that certain things in their environment absolutely affect their health in ways they didn't realize. And people that say, I don't know why it's like that. You know, it's like, well, if you had learned real science and how to be a scientist and be able to research instead of just saying, I don't know, I don't get it. It would be comfortable for you to figure that out and not feel so overwhelmed when something unexpected happens you'd understand the principles of either how things work or how to find the answer. Awesome. So we want to build that in. So as an individual, natural disaster, 
small, minor baby crisis. Like, my watermelon tasted like cucumbers. Why did that happen? Oh, well, it's the principle of science. I had cucumbers next by, and they're next to them, growing up, together, cross-pollination. This is just a principle of science. It's not some dramatic thing. I let them get too close and they didn't have good boundaries. So, this holistic perspective on science, skill-based, not politically driven, not teaching propaganda, observable science. We can be limited to observable science so our kids learn real skills and are actually capable of being happy and understanding truth. Please stay open. See you later.